Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is Wednesday, December 30th. Uh, small red today, red day today, minus 162. Uh, was three for four winners on the mighty 90s for plus 237. Booked a winner in Apple, Beyond, uh, loser in DKNG, and then a nice winner in Zoom. No pairs trades today. And then on the runners, had a little loser in Apple, Boeing, winner in Beyond, and a loser in Tesla. So let's check these out and then I'll give you a quick recap of our week and tell you what's going on the rest of this month after the new year. So uh, today is the last day of streaming. And so I'm gonna try to sneak in a couple mighty 90 trades first thing tomorrow on New Year's Eve. The market is open all day, but uh, trading will probably be light. So I will definitely not be trading late into the morning. Um, and so then we'll be back in full force after the first next Monday, we'll be trading live streaming every day of the month, except for MLK day in mid January. It's a Monday. Uh, I can't remember the exact date, but they will, uh, market is closed. So that's the only day in January that we will not be streaming live. All right. So let's check out these trades that I made. Let's start with the mighty nineties, starting with Apple. So Apple, we had this initial flush lower. Uh, we got, sh uh, we got long right in this area here and just caught a little bit of a bounce uh, for small profit in Apple. In Beyond, Beyond the Meat had this big push up. We got short right here and caught a little bit of a downside action there for a nice $180 winner. Uh, DKNG is the one that really got us. I mean, this thing, we started, uh, had this big push up here into this pivot uh, with a nice volume spike. So we started getting short right in this area, it made a big push up. We did add to it. And so on this downside uh, draft, we, we got some of it back, but still took a loss on Donkey Kong. And then in Zoom, our biggest winner uh, had this initial flush lower bounced and we got a, a mighty 90 signal held through all this chop. And then finally flush lower, I held one last piece of it for this last flush is when we got out of the, the remaining piece of that. So booked a $420 profit in Zoom Zoom. And then uh, on the on the runner front uh, in Apple, we did a runner here. Uh, Apple uh, pushed all the way up um, back to the uh, low of yesterday. And so I was looking forward to roll over. It started to roll over and then when it just ripped up, I just cut my losses really quick. So it just took a small loss there. In Boeing, uh, Boeing took an upside runner. It, it made this initial push up, came down, didn't go negative, and then uh, came back, started chopping around above the this pivot. So we were looking for a continuation higher, started to get it, didn't quite push enough to uh, allow us to book any profits, and then it just kind of rolled over. So when it started chopping down, we just cut out for a, for a small loss in Boeing. Uh, and beyond, we took a runner as well, uh, had this initial push up, and when it came down, all the way down to negative ter territory is chopping here. And we just caught a little piece of this. It started to bounce on this pivot and we were getting some volume spikes. And so we just closed out of three quarters of the position down here. And then when it pushed up, we closed out of the rest and, and booked a small profit. And then Tesla was our last one here. Uh, in Tesla, this was a little bit frustrating because it had this initial move lower, came up, made new highs, was chopping around. I was looking for a continuation higher. This thing just pushed lower and flushed me out right here. And wouldn't you know it, this thing just ripped higher uh, right after that. So just missed that one. Ended up taking a small loss on Tesla, uh, but that's okay. That happens. Uh, you're not always gonna catch them exactly right. Sometimes they will fake you out. And Tesla got me today. So Tesla owes me some money next week. Uh, so minus 162 for the, for the day. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, let me bring my sheet back up. Just give you a quick little recap for the week. Um, we had this he lesson learned here. I mean, this is a, a good lesson for everybody, but, uh, we're down about 1200 bucks on the week. Like I said, I'm going to try to sneak in some mighty nineties tomorrow. So who knows, could, could get back to even or positive on the week, but the big, the biggest issue this week is the mismanagement of two trades on Monday, Amazon and Facebook. Now these still would have been losers. But the, the way that I managed them was against our rules. And so this, this should have been about half that much. This should have been about half that much. would basically put us at break even on the week. But just those two little mental mistakes, those two little mistakes caused us to be in the red for the week. Now, if we go to our, uh, wow, what's going on with my sheet here? Uh, if we go to our, let me see if I can fix this. There we go. 
So if we go to our sheet here, I mean, this is our, our total going all the way back to August. Our last red week was in August. And, you know, you're going to have red weeks. You're going to have mental, uh, you know, you're, you're going to have mess ups. And, and that's certainly what, what happened on Monday. So we'll most likely have a red week. But again, it's first red week that we've had going back to October. And so that is just part of trading. You can't win them all. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, our green streak may be coming to an end uh, that we've had for the last couple months. So uh, we will be back in full force uh, on Monday. Obviously, um, market's closed for New Year's and market is closed for MLK Day, which I can't remember the date, but it's in mid, mid January. But other, to, other than that, we will be streaming live every day in January. And so we look forward to making January uh, and, and 2021 our best trading year ever. So look forward to having you there. Uh, have a great break and we will talk to you soon.